All right, guys, what's going on? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. Got another sneaker unboxing for you guys today. I'm just going to go ahead and get right into this one. Uh, I think I know what this one is, to be 100% honest, though. I didn't get a tracker on it. Um, like, it wasn't even marked as shipped yet. So I'm really kind of concerned, or not concerned, but I'm confused as to why I got it when it hasn't even been marked as shipped. Uh, but you can see from the box, we got another Nike ID. I'm not going to talk again. I just want to open these up and see them. Hopefully this is, yeah, buddy. That's the ones that I've been waiting for. So I've been waiting for these uh, out of the three that I just designed. This is the one I've been waiting the longest and the hardest to see. And I got to inspect it real quick to see how the quality looks. Looks pretty decent. A little bit of uh, ruffled stuff going on over here. But the quality, the leather material is really nice. So as you can tell, I took like the kind of the f famous infrared silhouette and then I used um, the croc print for the leather so you can see right here the croc print across here and then the white croc print um, I think these turned out great I was really excited to show you these like I actually haven't shown anybody these I ordered them on Nike ID and was like dude I can't wait to do an unboxing of these and show people uh, this uh, this sneaker it just one of those ones that I was really excited to, to show you guys. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like these or not? Um, I really love the, the Air Max, like the original colorway, the, the kind of infrared colorway. And I thought that this was like a nice little homage to it. Um, unfortunately, the bottoms again. I really wish that's the next level of Nike ID. They need to make it so you can do two tones on the soles because that would be the most ideal situation. Um, I stuck to the true like uh, sole. I cut it in the Lunar or the, the, the Lunar Solar, whatever, but I decided not to. I wanted to use this one uh, with the, the Air Max bubble down here. Pretty sweet, though, if you ask me, man. Uh, really, really stoked that I was able to get these finally. Uh, I ordered these a while ago, and, and it just took forever to get here. One thing I am noticing is a crock print is definitely different on both of them. You can see on this collar, it's a little bit uh, more bunched up, and then up here, it's, it's definitely a lot wider but i'll do a detailed review video of these and compare them to a couple other sneakers here and there i actually don't have any of the, the air max uh, 90s in the original colorway uh of the in, like the infrareds so it's kind of crazy that i don't have those but i thought this was a, a really nice play on that uh when i do a review video i'll do a comparison of these next to like some images of the originals at least so you guys can see uh where the inspiration came from but pretty stoked uh man uh leave a comment let me know again what you guys think of my uh my air max 90s and man, I think they came out great. I really, I wish this would have been two, two tones as well, just different. Anyway, a couple little nitpicky things, but other than that, uh, pretty, pretty badass in my opinion. Uh, anyway, have a good one, guys. We'll catch you guys for another video soon. Check back in a couple days. So hopefully, I'll have a review video, uh, detailed, really detailed review video of these. All right, later, guys. Peace.